What's going on guys and welcome back. So I apologize I missed yesterday's upload. I was not feeling well and actually had to leave work early, but we feel a lot better. So today, we were going to do this yesterday, but today, Steel Song Set 5. Happy release day, by the way, to everyone. Um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Who? Let me know in the comments down below if you got the card you wanted. If you didn't, what is the card you want to get most? Well, let's go ahead and jump on into the deck profile. So we have 19 uninkable cards. Uh, Steel Song is one of those decks that can start to creep up here because a lot of the songs happen to come in as uninkable. We got some new cards like Daisy that are uninkable. Um, and the cost of the deck also is kind of pricey, but remember a lot of these new cards, prices always start out high. I recommend people, unless you have a big event that you want them for right away, wait two three four weeks and the card prices come down um but as of right now the deck does come in at 526 also still playing the four rapunzel so i mean that's like a third of the deck right there uh but yeah 19 uninkables we curve out at six barely so we only play a couple of them um but so five is pretty much our curve out point which isn't too uncommon from normal uh normal um Steel Song builds were high in the threes. Uh, we have a few ones, and on one, I went back to four Cinderella. I know it was going down to like two and three at some points, and the queen package in there. Uh, cut the queen package and put Daisy in. And then with Daisy and Smee, I felt like that's the good enough aggro start to go into things like the red blue matchup, where we saw Piglet seeing a lot of play, and I think Piglet is great. But at the same time, I just think that Daisy having the four willpower in questing for two and being played on turn one and not being reliant on other characters on board, I just like Daisy a little bit more to help push the deck to be faster. And then Smee just works really well with Rapunzel. The three attack is really good. And again, the questing for two does not hurt. I, I still think Robin Hood is the play. I think it's where you should go. Um, when we go look then into our other cards uh, four aerials that's pretty much never going to change and i'm also trying out uh two gazelle pop stars so it's kind of like gaston with one less strength but she quests for two it's still a singer five i don't know if she'll make the cut after further testing but again it just kind of gives you that real aggressive approach where you if you hit daisy smee then you come back with Gazelle or Lawrence, and you just start dropping all these multi-questers. You can actually get pretty aggressive into matchups that you need to speed the deck up and rely less on the songs. However, she's still a singer five. She's inkable, has three willpower. So I really think she's worth testing at least. And then Lawrence, still in there. Again, I don't know if he's going to stick around. We'll see how the format develops. But he's really nice as a clean answer to Sisu. Or, I mean, even Big Sisu has four willpower. Uh, there's there's just a lot of cards where him having four strength uh, can be can be really good. Obviously, if he takes damage, that goes away. But he's still got four willpower then with two, uh, two lore. Prince Naveen, another uninkable character now. So, like I said, the songs were already pretty heavy on uninkables. But he's another uninkable character. And he's a singer six. A three, three, quest for two. So, again fitting that approach of the deck can actually be pretty aggressive but when you play them you can play a six cost or less song for free so you get just free value out of it and usually if you come out with Ariel turn three you can look for a song add it to your hand turn four you play Naveen and then Naveen lets you immediately play uh, action from or a song with six or less cost from your hand so then you can play that song and then whatever other song you have in your hand you still have Ariel there that you can use and it just gets you a lot of value. Um, uninkable, I think three is going to be the way to go, but maybe maybe he ends up being a four of. Uh, maybe Daisy Duck doesn't even make the cut. I just For now, I do want to try it, like I said, over the Piglet, just because then turn two, you can either go like Smee or come back with like Robin Hood. Um, or I guess, depending on your matchup, if you want to set up the Cinderella of like with a song in hand for turn two, you can play Daisy on turn two then instead. Um, there's a lot of routes you can go. So Rapunzel, again, at four, multi-quester, five willpower, heals your cards and draws you cards. That's all really good. Robin Hood, again, four of. And then Simba, the walking rise of the Titans. 
It's a 3-5 quest for one, and again, when you play this character, you can banish item or location. Uh, late game, so you can take out something like a Lucky Dime. You can take out Queen's Castle or Library, because I think locations are definitely going to be pretty common. And just having a nice clean way to take them out while leaving a body on board, I think is pretty strong. We got 22 songs. Um, so no flute either because, well, at the end of the day, we're at 19 on Inkables. I know I've seen decks play like 21, 22, and it's it's how you mulligan. Like You don't really keep the on Inkables. You mulligan them away. But then it also feels bad when you start drawing like three turns in a row. It's like, yeah, I just got to ink. Then I can start playing these cards. And you hit uninkable, 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 uninkable. And it's it happens, but that's one of the the downsides to playing certain decks is sometimes the RNG is not on your side. Um, so back to four bear necessities. Um, might cut it back down again. Started at two, went to three, put the fourth one back in. Uh, Storm and Strength, pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, they're your Cinderella songs. They're just good, easy, clean removal. Uh, four of each of those. Zeus, again, I think locations are going to be pretty popular, so you got to play three Zeus. Um, being able to just deal with them as quick as you can is is what the deck does really well. So you, you might as well keep it keep it going. Um, one find and platinum. I've actually liked this card a lot, um, especially just like for decks like this where they might struggle into those item decks. So being able to just drop this and get rid of all their items feels feels really good. Uh, four Honlu Worlds, pretty self explanatory again. That's one of the best parts about this deck. Um, and two, grab your swords. So, aggro, I think it's going to be very popular early on. And I just want to see kind of how the format develops out. But grab your swords might come out completely or even go to one. But for now, I want to have it at two because I want to be able to see it a little bit more often. Um, no flutes, no locations. And not to say this is how the list is going to finish. But again, that's it's kind of how I want to start with it and go from there. See how how the format develops. This deck usually starts out pretty slow in a format, and you're building it out to counter the meta. So you kind of need the meta to start to settle and develop before Steel Song really takes over. Because if you've noticed, like last format, Steel Song was nowhere in the beginning, and that's because it just answers everything. But how do you answer when you don't have the questions yet? So the format develops, you start to see what cards are played, what decks are played, what's doing good, and then Steel Song just builds itself to beat the majority of it, or at least have a puncher's chance. Um, and I think that's why the deck just does so good. However, I think I think this set, they got some nice tools that they're going to just come out swinging right away. I think they're going to make a strong push for being the best overall deck. Um, definitely going to be a tier one, tier S, however you want to look at it deck. Uh, I did go through and rank, rank 21 decks. I think we did, uh, videos on the channel. If you want to go check out where your favorite deck may or may not rank. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Take care.